Hey guys, it's me, and I am going to do a little bit of a face of the day. I already have my uh, concealer, BB cream, da 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 on, and um, I was shopping in my stash, and I found my Sonia Kashuk. Um, I don't know what it's called. Um, Super Sheer Liquid Tint in 03 Poppy. Oh, I got this probably a couple of years ago at Target. So there's the color. And I'm going to be using my new Real Techniques um, by Samantha Chapman brush. This is the stippling brush. And I'm just going to um, put some on the brush and tap it off on my hand. Here, sorry. So I can see what I'm doing. And then I just stipple it on. I hadn't you I'd hardly use this because I was putting it on with my finger and I didn't like how it looked. So it just kind of sat around. So how's everyone today? It's Friday. And we leave in a week. We are going to go, we're going to fly into Minneapolis and stay with my sister and her husband for a couple of days. And then we're driving down to Rockford, Rockford, that's my hometown, down to Madison, um, Wisconsin. One of my husband's nephews is getting married on the 12th, so we're going back for the wedding. And I'm really getting excited. Um, my sister Barb is going to take us to Mall of America so that I can um, find a dress for the wedding. So while I let that dry, I'm going to use my color tattoo by Maybelline, the 24 hour eyeshadow, and this is in Tough as Taupe. And my bathroom is a mess. I just have brushes and stuff all over the place. I'm going to use my Real Techniques uh, brush in shading brush. And I'm I like to put this on with my finger because I think the um, that the heat of my finger helps it to go on easier. I hope you can see this okay. So I've got my mega wattage mirror. It has a 10 power magnification and a super bright light. And therefore I can see every little pore and every um, little eyelash. It's really nice. And like I say, it was very scary the first time I looked in here. But I'm used to it now. So I just take that up. Excuse me. Above my crease. Because the older I get, the more and more my lids are hooded. I should double check and make sure this isn't blurry. Although I'd probably look better if it was. Okay, hang on. No, it looks good. Okay, so I have that on. And next I'm going to use my new Urban Decay uh, Book of Shadows number 4. And... What I've been doing the last couple of days is I've been using Skimp here as my highlighter and Bust as my lid color. I find that Bust and the um, Toughest Taupe are really good matches for each other. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman. Um, brush. This is the domed shadow brush. That's that one. 
and it says domed shadow. Oh, and on my nails I have, um, oh, what's the Revlon color? One of the new pink ones that I had gotten, and then on top, for my top coat, I got the Out the Door, and it's the Hologram um, in the silver color. I got that from our nail tech. And so, here is the, uh, the highlight skimp. And I like to put it, I'm sorry if you can't see, I like to put it all the way around. So underneath too. Um, our nail tech Janet. And when we go to Madison, I'm going to try to make a trip to Sally Beauty Supply and get some more for her because she said it's pretty expensive here, but in the lower 48, it's like five or six dollars a bottle. And she says it wears like iron, so we'll see. I like to put my highlighter on first. I don't know why, it just works for me. And then I'm going to use the same brush and go in with the bust. And as of today, I am down 29 pounds, so I am thrilled at my weight loss. And I'm only 8 pounds away from my original goal, but I think I'm going to change my goal to an additional 5 pounds, which will take me to what I weighed when we moved up here. Um, so when I started Ideal Protein, I was 42... 42 pounds over what I weighed when we moved up here. I was just way too heavy. Way too heavy. Not comfortable. I loved my clothes. I didn't like the way I looked in my clothes. And if any of you guys have had a weight problem or currently are struggling with a weight problem, you may know what I mean. Uh, so, there's my eyeshadow. And then I'm using my new shader brush. This is the Soho London, New York, whatever. I had gotten this at um, Walmart. And it's a, a blending brush. And when I use um, the uh, Toughest Hope and the Bust, I don't really have to blend too much. I mean, they're just such a perfect match. And uh, I just really like the way they look. Okay, so we have that done. And that's all I'm going to use out of the Book of Shadows. Now I'm going to use my Essence Sun Club. My Matte Bronzing Powder in O2 Sunny. And I am going to use the, my Multitask Brush, the Real Techniques. By Samantha Chapman. And this I just kind of put all over. Around the perimeter. I definitely like to get my jawline. And down my neck a little bit. Oops, that might be a little much right there. That's all right. We'll take care of that. And I don't want you guys to think that I don't love my Laura Geller baked body frosting in Tahitian tan because I do. But I have been wearing this since I got it just because I wanted to try it out and see how I like it. And I like it. I like the... Uh, body frosting better, but it's a much more expensive product. And then, I'm not sure where I put the brush that goes with my IT Cosmetics, my airbrush illuminizer that I got off of QVC. I don't know where I put that brush. Oh well. Um, I do apply this differently, just depending on my mood. So sometimes I just take the little puff and dab it on where I want it. And then I take my big fluffy 
powder brush and I just blend, oh, sorry, you think I'd know how to manage a mirror by this point. And I just kind of blend that in all over. I'll go down onto my neck a little bit, add a little more. And I find that I can go all over my face with this without it looking too crazy. It's pretty subtle, gives a nice sheen. And I think I'll keep it. Um, I don't know that. I would rave about it as much as Jen does, but Jen's a lot younger than I am. So, um, Another blush that I've been using quite a bit is my Illamasqua Powder Blush in Hussy. And that's the color there. It's beautiful. It goes really well with the um, Sony Kashuk. But either one of these has plenty of color, so I usually don't need to layer. Alright, now eyeliner. My Urban Decay 24-7 in Zero. And I'm going to need to use my mirror for this. This is just my everyday, one of my everyday looks. So I typically start, I hope you can see, I start in the center. And then work back. And I try to get this into the lash, lashes into the lash line as much as possible so that I don't have that crazy, you know, light color showing through. pretty much how I do it. No magic, just then this side's a little more awkward because just at the angle of my mirror. Sorry if my hand is in the way. Um, weather here has been okay. It's been in the 50s. Uh, cloudy, sunny, typical spring weather. Mosquitoes are out in force. Got my first mosquito bite, you guys, right there. Probably from one of the giant B-52 bombers. I wasn't sure at first if it was a spider bite because they are out like crazy. We have a lot of spiders here because it's so wooded. Um, but I think this is a mosquito bite because it's a single bite and for me, at least, spider bites tend to come in little clusters. Like you'll have three or four or five little red bumps all in one big bump. Because I guess spiders bite several times. So there's my eyeliner. Um, I don't think I'll put any on the bottom. And maybe... Now nah, I think we'll just leave it like that. Typically I wait, I'll go and dry my hair at this point, but for time's sake, I'll go ahead and uh, put my mascara on. The reason I do that is to allow the um, eyeliner to set, but because I'm going to use my eyelash curler at this point, I'm probably going to have to go and reapply. This is, uh, which eyelash curler is this? See how it took some of it off. This is the Tarte Eyelash Curler. And I just either used a Revlon or Color Girl Eyelash Curler for years. I'll clean that off. That's one of the things that kind of grosses me out when I see people's eyelash curlers and it's all just gobbed up with eyeliner and mascara. Clean your eyelash curler, girls, otherwise, and guys. Otherwise, you may be pulling your lashes out because it gets so gooky and messed up and then you go and squeeze your lashes into that mess and it can pull your lashes out. So 
So not a good. I had a good plan. Now, where did I put my mascara? Okay. Now this is what it's called: false lashes or the faux sills. The L'Oreal Voluminous, and this is in black. I have the TV right here, but it's on a soap opera. I don't watch soap operas. It's um. I don't know. H902, and the writing is so tiny that I would need a magnification, uh, magnifying glass to see it. But this is um, what the brush looks like. And it's like the brush is slightly angled. Now, I don't know if that's how it's manufactured, if mine just kind of got bent. But that's what the brush is like. And I like this. I can get away with one coat, I mean two if I really feel, I hope you can see okay. So I like to go up first and separate my lashes somewhat and they, because this brush is so long, a lot of times I manage to hit my eyelid. And then I like to go down on top of the lashes to try to make sure that I get some color on the top side. And I, I liked this uh, pretty much right out of the package. It's not too wet. Um, it really does build up the lashes. I just keep hitting. That's the one thing I don't like about it, but I'm sure if I continue to use it, um, I will get used to the length of the brush and I probably won't do that anymore. Uh, the mascaras I've been using lately have had much shorter brushes, so I think that that's probably my problem. So again, I go under and separate. I have to start using my lash stuff again because they're starting to look a little skimpy. Then I just do the tops of the lashes and go back and separate again. This can get a little clumpy, but honestly, I'm okay with that. My lashes are so skimpy that clumpy helps. And then just do some on my lower lashes. And you guys saw, without any mascara on, I look like I had no eyelashes. Same with my hair. If I when, if I don't style my hair, it looks like I just really have no hair, very little. I guess I could have done my brows first, but my mascara or my eyeliner still wouldn't have been set. That's the one thing I don't care about the 24-7 uh, eyeliner in zero and they're probably all that way although I'm not sure but as it takes a long time for it to dry so then I've been using the CQ lining impressions brow pencil and it's in medium brown, 32 medium brown. I had gotten this at Walmart, oh gosh, probably a year ago. They were clearanced out at a dollar. So I just like to fill in, I like to fill in the top because my top brow isn't real even and it's a little sparse. And the Wet n Wild taupe is still my favorite, but I have been using this one. I have it and I can and again I go in and mostly work the product in at the top of my lash I mean my brow I wonder how many things I've said incorrectly in this video and didn't catch myself and it looks like I need to trim my brows down they're getting a little long and here's a little uh, trick that I learned from uh, the brow bar at Ulta I mean, when I do brows in the salon or do my own, I always brush them up and trim them. But the um, the brow 
the Benefit Brow Woman, she also brushed them down, which I had never thought of or had never done before. And let's see, how are we doing here? Okay. So, um, and then I'm going to use my Triple XL Shine from Essence the gloss and this is in what's it in? Sparkling Papaya. Very pretty. And the reason the light changed is because I turned off the light on my super duper mirror. I'm not sure why I'm using that mirror. I can't see very much without the light on. And I really like these glosses. There you have it. My typical face of the day. Nothing exciting, just that's what I do. Um, today I'm going to stop in at the salon. It's Kate's birthday today and I have to get my car washed. I got the oil changed yesterday but I never got around to getting it washed and it's filthy. <clears throat> Our house sitter is going to be using my vehicle. And then um, I've been working on my jean purse, my denim purse, blue jean, denim purse, whatever. Um, so I've kind of been working on that, trying some different things, and hopefully, you know, at some point I'll have that done and I can show you. Oh, hang on, I feel like it's something to my little eyelash. So, all right, you guys, you take care. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And uh, and um, I don't know if all of you guys, or how many of you guys knew Lynn, but um, she was a YouTuber. And she had her channel, and she and her daughter were murdered last Sunday, allegedly by her husband who has disappeared. They were both shot. Both of their pets were shot and the house was set on fire. Horrible, horrible crime. Why in the world do guys do this? Why don't they just divorce their wives? But um, I, just, I just feel horrible about it. And her channel name I think was Lynn K. Lynn K. 1970. And if you uh, Google Lynn, L-Y-N-N, Keller, uh, and murder, it will bring up the uh, article about it. So, terrible, terrible tragedy. I don't, I don't understand it. But, um, all right, you guys, sorry for ending on that sad note, but it just has really bugged me. I just can't stop thinking about her and her daughter and... Hope they catch the guy soon. So, okay, you guys, you take care. Thanks again for watching, and uh, bye.